Hello and welcome to Apache Kafka tutorial at Learning Journal. In this session, I will introduce you to Kafka. We will try to understand Kafka in less than 10 minutes. I am assuming that you have at least heard about Kafka and you already know that it is an open source project. Kafka was originally developed at LinkedIn and later open sourced in 2011. Since then, it has evolved and established itself as a very popular tool for building real-time data pipelines. Now it is securing its share in real-time streaming applications as well. The Kafka documentation says it is a distributed streaming platform. That's good for definition, but I want to know what it can do for me or what I can do using Kafka. The official documentation says it is similar to enterprise messaging system. I guess you already understand a messaging system. In a typical messaging system, there are three components. A producer or a publisher, a broker and a consumer. The producers are the client applications and they send some messages. The brokers receive messages from publishers and store these messages. Now consumers, they read the message record from brokers. All of this looks very simple. Let us now look at the data integration problem in a large organization. I borrowed this diagram from J. Krebs blog. It shows the data integration requirement in large enterprise. Does it look like a mess? There are many source systems and multiple destination systems. And you are given a task to create data pipeline to move data among these systems. For a growing organization, the number of source and destination systems keep getting bigger and bigger. Finally, your data pipeline looks like this. I am sure that I don't need to explain that you cannot manage and maintain it. Some part of this pipeline will keep breaking every day. But if we can use a messaging system for solving this kind of integration problem, the solution may be neater and cleaner like this. That's the idea discovered by the team at LinkedIn. Then they started evaluating existing messaging systems but none of them meet their criteria to support the desired throughput and scale. Finally, they end up creating Kafka. So, at the core, Kafka is a highly scalable and fault-tolerant enterprise messaging system. Let us look at the Kafka diagram from official documentation. I hope you understand these two components and the one in the center. So, these are producer applications. They are sending messages to Kafka cluster. The Kafka cluster is nothing but a bunch of brokers running in a group of computers. They take message records from producers and store it in Kafka message log. At the bottom, these are consumer applications. They read messages from Kafka cluster, process it and do whatever they want to do. Maybe to send them to Hadoop or Cassandra, HBase or maybe pushing it back again into Kafka for someone else to read these modified or transform messages. Now let us turn our focus on other two things in this diagram. Ok, let me ask a question, what is a stream? Well, I will say continuous flow of data or you can tell a constant stream of messages. Kafka is so powerful regarding throughput and scalability that it allows you to handle a continuous stream of messages. So if you can just plug in some stream processing framework to Kafka, it could be your backbone infrastructure to create a real-time stream processing application. And that is what this section of diagram is trying to explain. These are some stream processing applications. They read continuous stream of data from Kafka, process them and then either store them back in Kafka or send them directly to other systems. Kafka provides some stream processing APIs as well. So you can do a lot of things using Kafka stream processing APIs. Or you can use other stream processing frameworks like Spark Streaming or Storm. The next thing is Kafka Connector. These are very powerful features. They are ready to use connectors to import data from databases into Kafka or export data from Kafka to databases. These are not just out of the box connectors, but also a framework to build specialized connectors for any other application. Ok, let us summarize all that we learned in this session. Kafka is a distributed streaming platform. 
you can use it as an enterprise messaging system that doesn't mean just a traditional messaging system you can use it to simplify complex data pipelines that are made up of a vast number of consumers and producers you can use it as a stream processing platform there are two parts of stream processing stream and processing framework kafka gives you a stream and you can plug in a processing framework it also provides connectors to export and import bulk data from databases and other systems but implementing these things is not that simple there are no plug and play components you need to use apis and write a bunch of code you need to understand some configuration parameters and tune or customize kafka behavior according to your requirement and use cases we will cover all of these things in this training so keep watching subscribe to get more videos and training feel free to ask questions by posting a comment thank you for watching keep learning keep growing